In this video, we want to show you how we handle the process of adding and updating closed captions in Storyline 360. For the first draft of courses we build, we utilize the built-in text-to-speech option. This allows us to have sample audio narration for the reviewers to listen to without having to have a real person sit down and record it all out. To do so, we start by writing out or copying and pasting our script into the notes panel below the slides. Then, we insert text-to-speech audio using the Insert tab. making sure to check mark the Generate Closed Captions button. We now have rough draft narration with closed captions to give our reviewers the full experience of the course. If at any time we need to update the script based on feedback from reviewers, we start by editing the Notes panel. And we double check our slides in case the feedback impacts any content there. Then, to update the text-to-speech narration, we just select the audio track and can make edits from the text-to-speech button on the Audio Tools Options tab. As long as you have the Update Closed Captions option checkmarked, then those will be updated at the same time the audio is updated. Finally, once the review cycles are done and we're ready to insert the final recorded audio tracks, we use the Replace Audio option by right-clicking an audio track or by going back to the Audio Tools Options tab again. The nice thing about the Replace Audio option is that it carries over those closed captions. You can see this for yourself by the fact that the button says Edit instead of Add like it does when there are no closed captions. You will want to go in and do some editing because the timing of the text-to-speech is probably not the same as the timing of your actual narrator. More on that process in a separate video. Hopefully this has helped you improve the way you work with closed captions in Storyline 360.